In today's Tip Trick Tuesday video, I'll go over 12 creative gimbal moves that will make your video production to a higher level. If you like my intro, I'm actually giving away a free premium intro template for After Effects and Premiere Pro that is very similar to my intro, but just a touch shorter. We'll put a link in the description below so you can go and check that out. It's entirely for free. Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Izalea, and today we're gonna check out 12 creative gimbal moves. We'll start with the basic ones and end with a combination of different moves. The first move to use is the parallax move. Here you can separate your subject from the background. You can do this by having a foreground element passing close to the camera, such as walls, light posts, bushes, just things that pass in front of your camera and have something in the background as a focus element. That way you create some kind of parallax effect because both items actually move at a different speed and create a very dynamic shot. For the next shot, this type of movement, you can also create a slider kind of motion effect using the lock function on your gimbal, just like this. Another basic move is to push in or pull out. As you might have guessed by the name, you simply go closer or farther away from your subject. You can compare this type of movement to a dolly shot, but if you don't have a dolly or a slider, a gimbal is a perfect way to replace that kind of movement. Sometimes even better because you're not locked to a kind of track or to a specific kind of motion and you don't need to set up your dolly or your slider all the time. You just take your gimbal and do your shot. The only thing here is that you really are careful with the movements of your feet. Try to keep your body from moving up and down. Um, you can do this by using a special kind of filmmaker's walk. I actually covered this walk in a previous video on the review of this gimbal, which you can check out with the link in the description below. Before we continue this video, I would like to talk about Lancarda. They made this video possible. The gimbal used in this video is the Feutech A2000, which actually comes from Lancarda. Lancarda is a website for high-end and professional filmmaking gear. They have a bunch to offer, so definitely check out our website with the link in the description below. The next shot is similar to the previous move, but here you keep the camera close to the ground, and by doing so, you can create a very dynamic looking shot of the ground whizzing past the camera. A wide angle lens is recommended for this type of shots because it makes it a lot more epic and you have a much bigger field of view. In the next move, you reveal your subject by moving up from the bottom to the top, from a person's toes to his head. But you don't want to tilt the camera in this move. Then a next move is a combination of a push-in and a low angle shot. You can start by holding the camera close to the ground and then move toward your subject while at the same time tilting your camera up, revealing what's in front of the camera. You can create a very dramatic kind of shot using this technique. Another one is while you tilt up the camera in a ground up movement, you tilt down the camera in a skyfall movement. So basically the opposite movement of the ground up. If you don't have a jib or crane, then fear not, you can easily recreate such movements by using your gimbal and your whole body. And even if you have a jib or crane, it takes so much space, it takes a lot of time to set up, and I just prefer doing it with my gimbal. You simply start by bending through your knees while holding your gimbal low to the ground and slowly rise yourself up together with the gimbal until you can't go any higher. It's also possible to add some parallax effects by including a foreground element in your shot. Also, a nice way is to actually move a little bit closer to your subject because a jib actually comes a little bit closer while it's tilting up and this really makes it very dynamic. A more difficult movement is the orbit movement. Here you essentially orbit around your subject, creating a special and dynamic shot. It's very comparable to a drone orbit shot, but on a drone you can actually do it automatically, it's computer oriented, so it will do a perfect half circle, but here you have to do it manually. You can combine the shot using a ground up or a toe to head movement, starting low to the ground and then slowly start to rise your camera while also circling around your subject. To orbit your camera with the gimbal, you need a couple of tries. It won't be perfect from the first time. It's really hard to manually pull off a perfect half circle at a perfect speed, but it's really worth trying out because you can do a kind of 3D movement around a subject. The next move depends on the capabilities of your gimbal. You need to be able to control the roll axis manually for this effect to work. You can start by rolling the camera to one roll direction and then slowly rotate it to the other direction. It's best combined when you do a push in or pull out movement. 
to add some dynamic effect to the shot. This is really cool to use in music videos or some kind of dramatic uh, kind of science fiction movies. It's a really, really fun style to work with because you essentially rotate your canvas while moving closer to your subject. You see this a ton of times nowadays in music videos. Another basic move here, you simply track your subject either in front, back or side. It's important to maintain a steady level because otherwise you might notice the up and down movement of your gimbal because the gimbal doesn't actually uh, stabilize the up and down movement. So exactly like I mentioned before, you need to work on your walking. You don't always have to move your gimbal yourself. By placing the gimbal on a stabilizer or a tripod, you can easily create smooth pan or tilt shots. You can either use a joystick, but if your gimbal has one, such as this one, you can use their app. With my app, I can actually change the movement and create a very interesting shot. Because if you're working with a tripod shot and you manually rotate your tripod, either your movement isn't perfect because your tripod might not be able to smoothly create pan or tilt shots. A lot of tripods actually stutter while you're actually moving them. So this gimbal allows you to do perfect constant speed rotations and you can also get a little bit more creative like you start on the bottom low and then you rotate to the right and slowly go up. It's a very smooth and very cinematic shot if done correctly. But again, it's very hard to recreate manually. So that's where this gimbal comes in very handy. Also, if you are a one man band, you can use this technique to actually follow yourself while you pass through the camera using your app. You you can hide the app by your side and do some practice or even keep it in your pocket. It's a really fun way to experiment with camera movements if you're all alone and nobody is there to film you. You can actually make the audience feel like you have a second man helping you out. Alright, with the next movement you can create some really interesting shots. You can move the gimbal through windows, through doors, creating a kind of one shot effect. And as you can see, we combined two moves into one take. And I know the camera settings weren't perfect, but it was actually really hard to pull off because it was a very bright day and the car shot was rather dark. So we could have used um, artificial lights in the car, but as this was just a test for the capabilities of this gimbal and no professional project, we didn't go through all the hassle to create this. We just wanted to show you the possibilities of this gimbal and honestly, it looks very cool. We start with a tracking shot, followed by a pass through shot through the car window. Then there is another pass through followed by another tracking shot. You can see that there are some flaws, but this was merely a demonstration of what is possible. So basically how we did this shot, we needed three cameramen and one driver. So we needed kind of a little crew to do this, to pull off this effect. But if you're very hardcore, maybe you could have pulled off this effect with only two people. So first of all, you have a cameraman filming the car coming closer and then coming closer to the car window, giving the gimbal to another cameraman inside of the car, hiding in the passenger seat. We actually lowered the seat so you wouldn't be able to see him. He takes over the camera, films the driver until he stops. Then the driver opens up the door and the cameraman actually pulls out the camera through the door. And then someone else comes in. In this case, it was me who is coming and taking that camera and then follow the actor until he's at his door. I actually tried to hide behind the camera while I was doing the shot and then come closer when the car was almost going to stop. We were actually pretty proud of the shot because we didn't need much practice. And as I mentioned earlier, some moves can be combined to create an interesting and special shot. They might require some practice at first, but you should be able to do most of them without too much effort. One of my personal favorites is the ground up orbit, where you start close to the ground and slowly go up while orbiting around your subject. In post you can use some time remapping to really create a dynamic shot. Because sometimes a one shot movement takes a little bit too long and you want your audience's attention. So there you can just change it up a little bit by using some time remapping. I actually have a tutorial on that. If you don't know how to do that, we'll put a card on this video right here, I think. So the conclusion, as you have seen, there are a lot of possibilities for gimbal moves and each of those individual moves can be combined to create much more complex and dynamic looking shots. More importantly, you're free to choose which moves you want to use and combine. The possibilities are literally endless. And above all, smooth gimbal shots always look very cool. They give your videos a very professional look. Because one of the biggest mistakes from starting cameraman is that they actually have too much shake in their footage. A gimbal actually takes us entirely off the table. Now that you know all these moves, try to implement these moves in your videos. And also try to think why you are using these movements because every single movement actually tells a story. More on that in my other video. 
All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more and definitely hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Apart from that, check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers and motion graphics artists. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.